the method that I'm going to explain can be used for any equation that follows this format that is a into b equal to a constant so we have speed into time speed into time for a fixed distance and price into quantity quantity of consumption is equal to expenditure and we can see several other examples like this and in this kind of questions we will be given the value of C and the decrease in value of A and the increase in value of B so in our question it is distance here and speed here and time here and we will be asked to find the actual speed or the decrease speed or the actual time or the increased time right and in our question we are given the distance as 600 kilometers and the decrease in speed equals 10 kilometer per hour and the increase in duration is 2 hours right so this is what we are going to do we are going to divide this value with the product of these two values right so we have 600 divided by 10 into 2 so 20 that would be 30 now we have to express this number as a product of two consecutive numbers so we have to express this in n into n plus 1 format so we have 30 is equal to 5 into 6 so we have 5 into 6 now if we are asked to find out the actual time taken it will be 5 into 2 so 5 into 2 equals 10 hours will be the actual time taken and if you are asked to find out the increased time taken that will be 6 into 2 and the answer will be 12 hours now if we have to find out the actual speed the actual speed was greater so we have 6 6 into 10 6 into 10 we have 60 as the actual speed and the reduced speed will be 5 into 10 so we have 50 kilometers per hour now we will do a similar question using this approach we have a group of people plan to go on a trip and the expenditure of the trip is equal to 120 rupees and the planned number of people in the out of the planned number of people two people did not turn up and as a result and as a result the remaining had to contribute an extra 3 rupees so we have expenditure of the tour is equal to 120 rupees and two people did not turn up and as a result the remaining had to contribute an extra 3 rupees so we have 120 divided by 2 into 3 and that would be 20 and 20 can be expressed as 4 into 5 so we have 4 and 5 now the number of people planned to go on the trip was greater so we have the greater value of 5 and 5 into 2 equals 10 so 10 people had planned to go on the trip but actually only 8 of them but actually only 8 of them turned up for the tour so the actual number of people who planned to go on the trip was 10 
but actually only eight of them attended now if we have to find out the per head cost we have per head cost increased by three so we have the lower number as 12 and the increased number as 15 so the per head cost was 12 rupees when there was 10 people and this increased by 3 since 2 of them could not turn up and the total expenditure in both case is equal to 120 we have 12 into 10 equal to 120 and 15 into 8 equals 120 so this is how you find out these 4 values Subscribe to the channel for more shortcuts like these and thanks for watching.